It is time once again for a mail day with Bearded Tinker. We will get started in 10 seconds. Let's start with the first package. Hmm. So, what are these? These are LEDs. Five colors. Twenty pieces each. These LEDs will be used in my new project, project I've been preparing for a long time and it is a power supply. I'm making myself a workbench power supply from the old computer power supply and some bits and bobs I will be I have already ordered. Let's look at the web listing. This is the web listing for the LEDs I bought. I bought this selection. It's five colors and each has 20 pieces. Price was 80 cents with delivery to Croatia included. Delivery was very fast. And as I said, those LEDs will be used for my power supply I will be building. If we look at the reviews, it has rating of 4.8 stars, so that's pretty good rating. And now to next one. Hmm. Camera is playing tricks. Let's check this one. And I have cheated. I already opened this because I wanted to see if everything is okay or not with this order. So I have four ESP32 boards and one ESP8266 board. These boards will be used in a project I've been preparing myself and buying components for for a long time. Uh, project is from Queen LED and you can find it down in the description. Project is called uh, Digital Uno or Dig Uno. Uh, this is more or less a great project created uh, by a great guy that enables you to use ESP uh, boards to control digital LEDs but it allows you to power board con both control board and the LEDs from the same source it allows you to use either 5 volts or 12 vol volts for this um, and it easily integrates into the home assistant so this is something I will be working on uh, I have four of these and one of these uh, two of those will go to friends of mine. Um, I will build them Diguna boards too. And three of those will be uh, will be used by me. I already have prepared two locations where I'll be installing them. Let's go to web listing and check the components there. This is the web listing for the Live D1 Mini ESP32 boards. Those will be, as I said earlier, used for Queen LED to control LED lights. It was $4.08 a piece with a shipping of 71 cents. Shipping was also pretty fast. I ordered a total of four of those boards. Reviews here are okay and the average rating is 4.9 stars. So that's a pretty good rating. And this is the listing for ESP8266. I bought one board from this seller. This was this one for $1.80 with $1.07 shipping to Croatia. 
in both packages you receive not just the board but also you receive uh, long and short female pins plus normal pins which is great because those are needed for the assembly to the uh, queen led board and rating here of course is also 4.9 stars from all electronics trading company now let's look at the third package we received and we have third package here I have to be careful not to cut too deep okay oh oh great <laughs> another order I almost forgot about but I do need them very much this is a selection of um, M3 screws from very short one these are the shortest up to very long one uh, I need these screws to you know, help work on my unfortunately failed project and that was upgrade of the Ender 3 Pro printer where A I missed uh, I didn't have short enough screws and B I didn't have long enough screws so okay I have to reprint the boxes or I have to reprint everything for the motherboard Raspberry Pi back converter and once again failed relay and put everything together this time with the shorter screws for the Raspberry Pi and the SKR 1.3 motherboard and longer screws used to hold case together okay let's check web listing this is the web listing for the M3 screws I ordered uh, I bought 4 millimeter 8 millimeter and 20 millimeter so it's 20 millimeter was 57 cents for 10 pieces 8 millimeter was 40 cents for 10 pieces and 4 millimeter is 38 cents for 10 pieces with the free shipping to Croatia there are various other uh, shops selling those items but um, I like this one since they had biggest choice of the size or of the length of the screws name of the store is victory 3d store and reviews are five stars so all reviews were maximum and let us look at the fourth package hmm have to find a place here where i can cut in wow <laughs> okay uh, so first batch of the condensers is here I hope you can see the markings 1500 picofarad is that what it's called 16, 16 volts those condensers are also for the queen LED board uh, I think I need one of those for each of the boards I have and I have five boards so yeah I have stock now let's check web listing this is the web listing for the uh, capacitors I bought 16 volts 1500 picofarad if I read it correctly the price was two dollars 46 cents for I think a lot of 20 pieces yes 20 pieces and it was free shipping to Croatia it has a lot of customer reviews and the uh, rating is 4.9 stars out of 5 stars and the seller was Advanced Technology Co Limited and this is final package for today I'm very excited about this one TS100 soldering iron
I have to confess I already have a couple of soldering irons but those are the big chunky ones and yeah, my workbench is non-existent so I keep them in my toolbox and they are big of course they are not that big but they are bigger than this one so I ordered this one uh, I will be using my power bench that I will be building for it for now I will be using power supply of one of my old laptops I'm not using anymore uh, it's 19 volt straight should be just okay for it let's open it and this is ES 100 soldering iron they've been out for a couple of years and I've been looking at it for last six months let's check the documentation I hope that it's semi-original okay Allen wrench is here okay English manual is here I already prepared a uh, new firmware for it. I'll be using 19 volts, so it's saying that with 19 volts you can expect 40 watt power and heating from 30 to 300 degrees is 15 seconds. With my power bench I'm building, um, I could go up to 24 volts and 65 watts and it would be 11 seconds. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, to be working with it it's really small and compact uh, it's much lighter than the than the ones I'm using now let me just nah, I will not be I will not be putting tip in let's look at the web listing and that's it for today I bought this TS100 uh, mini soldering iron from the shop 4543009 store only one customer review uh, but why I bought it from this store they had option of shipping it from inside the European Union and that is great because you have less problems with the customs um, if you ship from inside the EU I think I chosen Spain uh, cost was $45.76 with a shipping of $5.89 so its total price was somewhere around $52 the only thing that was a bit strange is that shipment didn't arrive from Spain. Uh, I think that it arrived from Estonia by Dutch shipping company or something like that. The store has 94% positive review. Uh, I never bought anything else from this store, but as I said, everything worked great, iron works great, and you will be seeing this iron in my future videos in regard to my first SMD soldering. I never ever before soldered uh, surface mount components and also in a video where I try to uh, solder Queen LED for myself and a uh, couple of my friends. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I already did substitute firmware on this soldering iron. And this is it for today. Thank you for watching another Mail Day with Builder Thinker. If you have any kind of suggestion or you have a comment, please leave it down below into the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of the future videos. And if you like this video, press a like. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, bye bye and have fun.